Hey guys, Jillian Kaplan here from JillianKaplan.com and today I'm going to talk to you about how to gain more confidence when you do videos. Um, so videos is something that is relatively new to me, but I feel like a lot of my emotion comes across in videos that doesn't come across when I type. I'm also not a very good writer. Um, I'm an engineer by trait. I do math. And so writing's not my forte. And I feel like I can speak things out much better than I can write them. And that's why I feel like video marketing is so, so, so important. People are also like way more likely to watch a video than to read through something, which is a super interesting fact. It's like 80% more likely or something like that. Um, so it's so important for your business. And a lot of people are really nervous to get on camera. Um, a couple things that I like to do, I was the same exact way. Um, I'm an introvert, which a lot of people probably don't realize. I'm kind of a homebody. I like to stay home. Um, we're not like going out every weekend and um, killing it. You know, <laughs> we're, we're kind of homebodies. But when I do these videos, I'm alone. There's no one in here. Um, sometimes there's my dog in here, but I'm not like speaking in front of a huge audience. And so it makes it really easy for me to feel comfortable. I'm in my own space, in my own house or outside in my car, wherever I'm recording, I'm in my space and I'm by myself. There's no pressure on me from anyone else. So that's something really important to think about when you're doing a video. It's just you, right? It's just you. Something else that I never do is I never do a bunch of takes and re-record my video. Um, I'm not a perfectionist and I encourage you all not to be perfectionists either. Um, I think that being a perfectionist makes you a little bit unrealistic. I know some of you guys are probably perfectionists and you're like, I can't publish anything unless it's perfect. And you know, I can't put a video up unless it's perfect and there's not a single um or like or anything like that in there. Well, that's not me. And I'm suggesting that if you want to gain more confidence in your videos, that you don't do a bunch of takes, that you just speak from the heart, um, that you make sure that you're conveying your message, and that if you have to um, start over, that you don't almost, right? That you just sort of like run with it. I know that's a hard for a lot of people, but I always say um, I like it better done than perfectly done because done means it's done um, and perfect probably is going to take me five times as long and for someone like me um, I work a 40 plus hour a week work week at a fortune 10 company and I run my um, business on the side I don't have time for perfection I just want to get my message across. So really, like in the beginning, I was doing tons and tons of takes, and I was like, oh, it has to be perfect, it has to be this, it has to be that. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It just has to be done. And you're by yourself. It's like an introvert's dream for public speaking, right? Like, you can be so confident just sitting here in your room by yourself, talking to yourself, staring at yourself. Um, if you need to, you can grab some notes, and you can just read through your notes um, in a document instead of looking at yourself. I personally don't do that. I just speak from the heart. But I know people, um, if they really want and they want as close to perfection as possible without having to do many takes, right? They'll write out everything that they want to write. And they'll basically just read through it for people. And I think that's a great tip to be confident too, because you don't have to worry about flying by the seat of your pants. You can read through everything that you want to say. Um, and another tip I'm going to give you guys is to practice going live. So Periscope and Facebook Live are two great options for that because there's no do-overs, right? There's no perfection. There's gonna be people hopping on and off that you wanna say hi to. There's gonna be people commenting, some people commenting good things, some people commenting not so good things, right? And you're gonna to have to be prepared for that. You're gonna to have to be um, prepared for the unprepared and for questions you didn't expect. So doing a couple live broadcasts will really help you gain your confidence and make it much, much easier for you to do these recorded videos, right? Um, and it, it just it just will all flow. Um, do some practice, you know? You don't have to put everything up that you record, but do some practice. Um, 
you know, talk about things that you know everything about, whether it's diaper changing or dogs. You don't have to um, talk about business related stuff right away. Talk about things you're comfortable about. Just practice talking to yourself. And maybe you do post it um, on YouTube or on Facebook and you get a lot of people that are like, oh my God, thank you so much for those tips on diaper changing. Maybe you found a new audience. That's amazing. It doesn't have to all be business related. It can be life related too. Maybe you do awesome eyeliner. I do not do awesome eyeliner, but I do watch tutorials on YouTube and on Facebook of ladies that do awesome eyeliner. So think about some things you're really great at and you're super comfortable with and just invite people in. So I hope you found these confidence um, behind a camera tips helpful. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. For more tips, you can check out JillianKaplan.com. Talk to you later. Bye.